It's a moment every phone user dreads. You're holding your phone, scrolling, texting, or snapping a picture, and then it happens. A slip. The world seems to move in slow motion as your phone tumbles toward the ground. That sinking feeling in your chest? It's only topped by the horror of picking it up and seeing the spiderweb like cracks across the screen. <laughs> You're not alone. Millions of people experience this same gut-wrenching moment every year. But here's the question. Why does this keep happening? We live in an age where phones boast incredible features, 5G connectivity, AI-powered cameras, and blazing fast processors. Yet, one accidental drop and it all feels meaningless when your screen shatters in an instant. Manufacturers promise indestructible glass, ceramic shields, and military-grade durability, but the reality often doesn't live up to the hype. What if I told you there's more to this story than meets the eye? That your fragile screen isn't just the result of bad luck or clumsiness, but a combination of scientific limitations, design priorities, and perhaps even calculated decisions by phone manufacturers? Could it be that the very innovations that make your phone so sleek and powerful are also what makes it so vulnerable? In this video, we're diving into why your phone screen cracks so easily and uncovering the surprising reasons behind one of the most annoying problems every phone user faces. Stick around because the answers might just change how you see your device forever. Every year, phone manufacturers advertise their latest devices with bold claims of indestructible glass or shatterproof screens. These catchphrases make us feel like our phones are invincible, ready to withstand anything life throws at them. We hear terms like Gorilla Glass or Ceramic Shield thrown around, giving us the impression that the technology has evolved to the point where dropping your phone no longer means a cracked screen. But here's the truth. These claims are more myth than reality. While these materials have certainly improved over the years, they're still not as indestructible as they're marketed to be. Gorilla Glass, for example, is designed to be more scratch-resistant and tougher than previous generations, but it's still made of glass, an inherently brittle material. No matter how much they improve the composition or add protective coatings, glass will always have its limits when it comes to impact resistance. I'm so weak. <laughs> the real issue comes down to the design of the phones themselves. In the pursuit of sleeker, thinner, and more visually appealing devices, manufacturers often make trade-offs in durability. The glass on these modern phones is thinner than ever, making it more prone to cracking on impact. But more on that later. Manufacturers also prioritize the clarity of the screen over its overall toughness, meaning the glass needs to be as thin and smooth as possible to maintain that vibrant display. So, while indestructible glass sounds great in marketing ads, the reality is far from it. Your phone may still be susceptible to cracking, even with the most advanced glass available today. When it comes to smartphone design, there's one trend that has dominated the industry in recent years, making phones thinner and lighter. Every new model promises to be sleeker, more elegant, and easier to hold, but this emphasis on thinness often comes at the expense of durability. As phone manufacturers race to create the most visually appealing device, they've made significant compromises when it comes to the structural integrity of their products. One of the main reasons why phone screens crack so easily is that, in the pursuit of thinner designs, manufacturers have reduced the overall thickness of the glass and the frame around it. While a thinner phone might be more comfortable to hold and fit into your pocket better, it's far more fragile than its bulkier predecessors. Thinner glass is less capable of absorbing shock or withstanding the impact of an accidental drop, leading to the dreaded cracked screen. Additionally, the use of metal and glass to achieve that premium, high-end look can make phones more prone to damage. Glass is visually stunning, but it's also brittle, especially when it's made thinner to achieve the sleek aesthetic many consumers love. As a result, we're left with a device that looks gorgeous but is more susceptible to shattering if dropped, especially on hard surfaces. This design dilemma isn't going away anytime soon. Until manufacturers decide to prioritize durability over thinness, phone screens will continue to crack easily, leaving users with a tough choice, compromise on design or sacrifice durability. We've all dropped our phones at least once, and the result is almost always the same. But why does something as simple as gravity cause such devastating damage to your phone's display? The truth is, it's all about the way forces work when a phone falls. 
When your phone plummets, it accelerates as it falls due to gravity, gathering speed with every moment. The more speed it gains, the more force it carries when it hits the ground. This sudden impact puts immense pressure on the glass, and unlike flexible materials, glass doesn't absorb the shock. Instead, it breaks when that force exceeds its breaking point. The way the force is distributed also matters. When your phone lands on a corner or edge, the impact becomes concentrated in one spot, making it even more likely that the glass will crack. The surprising part is that even a short fall can be enough to break your screen. A drop from waist height might not seem like much, but the glass is under so much pressure from that sudden stop. You could drop your phone on a carpeted surface and still end up with a cracked screen. Why? Because the surface doesn't offer much resistance to the force, allowing the energy to transfer directly to the glass. So, it's not just the height that causes the damage, it's the physics behind how your phone hits the ground. And unfortunately, even the toughest glass can't always survive the intense forces at play. Sure, manufacturers attempt to sell high-tech glass, but there's a hidden truth behind why phones aren't as durable as you'd expect. It all comes down to the cost factor, balancing profits with protection. The materials used in phone screens aren't necessarily the best for durability. They're optimized for cost effectiveness, which makes it easier to keep prices competitive. Manufacturers could use tougher, more resilient materials, but that would drive up production costs, increasing the price of the phone. Ultimately, companies face a difficult decision make a phone that costs more to produce and, as a result, price it higher for consumers, or use cheaper, more breakable materials and keep the phone's cost down. The decision usually leans toward the latter because a lower price tag is more attractive to customers. This isn't just about making phones affordable, it's also about profit margins. By using glass that is harder to break, manufacturers could sacrifice slim designs or even increase production costs, which could eat into their profits. Thin and sleek designs are a major selling point, and unfortunately, strength often comes second to style. The result is that phones are more prone to damage than they need to be. Ironically, this flaw works in the manufacturer's favor too. Frequent screen repairs or replacements can drive sales of accessories like cases, screen protectors, and even new phones, creating a continuous cycle that benefits companies. It's a clever strategy, but it also means consumers are left dealing with the consequences. But here is the twist. What's not often discussed is the immense pressure tech companies face to keep innovating and delivering the next big thing. As consumers, we demand more features, sleeker designs, and thinner phones, often without considering the consequences. This creates an underlying tension between what we want and what's actually good for the device's longevity. The more features they add, the more vulnerable our phones become to damage. Think about it. Every time a phone screen cracks, it's not just a flaw in design. It's a symbol of how much we, the consumers, are shaping the future of tech without fully understanding the trade-offs. We might want bigger, better, and more stylish phones, but we rarely stop to question if those changes are worth the cost. But here's something to think about. If these phones are so fragile now, where does that leave us in the next five to 10 years? Are we heading toward a future where every drop leads to a shattered device? Or is there another path we could take? And speaking of disappearing trends, remember the excitement around curved screens? What happened to that? Stick around to find out why curved screens might have been more of a marketing gimmick than a game changer in the tech world. Click on this video to find out more.